Joining us today is the remarkably talented Alicia Weir, who, you know, just at 14, has taken a stunning turn from the whimsical corridors of Roald Dahl's literature straight into the shadowy corners of the horror genre. In her latest film, Abigail, Alicia transforms from a kidnapped ballerina into something far more sinister, kind of giving a new face to the vampire legacy. So, fresh off her role in Matilda the Musical, Alicia now captivates audiences with a performance that blends innocence and terror with an enchanting demonic <laughs> grace. Welcome to the show, Alicia. How are you, my friend? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm, I'm doing pretty good. Okay, I just gotta find out. Transitioning from like Matilda Wormwood to a, who's a beloved bright character to Abigail, who's like a complex vampire, must have been kind of a big shift. Uh, could you share what intrigued you about like taking this darker, more sinister role? It definitely is a very big change and a very big twist in the genre and in the character in general. But I think when I first read the script, um, it really it intrigued me so much. I could see myself in the character of Abigail. I could see myself having so much fun getting to play her character. And I just think, honestly, I fell in love with her character and the storyline. And I think one of my favorite things about getting to act is that you get to play characters like Matilda and you get to play characters like Abigail that are so different and that isn't yourself as well. And I think that's what makes it so exciting and so special. And uh, playing a centuries old vampire trapped in like a child's body has its own challenges. So how, how do you prepare to like put, portray like both the innocence and the monstrous side of Abigail and were there any like specific influences or routines or or people that, or uh, characters that you saw in the past that kind of helped you jump into the character? Well, for me, when I was approaching Abigail and approaching her two sides, it was definitely something as well that intrigued me to her character is at the start, you see this innocent, sweet girl and you don't know what's going to happen to her. And then, you know, you find out her true self. And I had an amazing coach, um, Nancy, who really, really helped me with those two sides. And in my script, I used to label it Abby and Abigail. So I knew that that day, if I was playing Abby, the sweet, innocent girl, or if I was playing Abigail. And for me, I was just you know, totally transforming myself and taking myself out of Alicia's shoes and putting them directly into Abigail's and that I was thinking about Abigail, I was thinking about her past, her everything that she'd be thinking and not Alicia playing the character of Abigail. And that's how I went about her two sides. Alicia Weir, thanks for joining me this morning. I think I'm out of time, but uh, uh, I want to say Abigail is in theaters now. If you want a haunting, dark look at a monstrous, vampiric uh, ballerina. That's probably the best way I could describe it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining me this morning, Alicia Weir. Thank you so much.